Park Premier Doug Ford has definitely changed his messaging from last week when he first announced the province's new color-coded framework for COVID, which has been widely criticized for setting the bar too high before restrictions kick in. Now the Premier is calling the framework a baseline, stressing local medical officers of health can add to it like Toronto is if they think further restrictions are necessary, puts the onus on them. And today, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau weighed in on the pandemic with a message to premiers as cases rise right across the country. But I would hope that no leader in our country is easing public health vigilance because they feel pressure not to shut down businesses or slow down our economy. Premier Doug Ford has stated many times he's trying to find the balance between the economy and battling the pandemic. Ontario keeps breaking record highs. The positivity rate has more than doubled in a month, and yet the government is easing restrictions. Is the Prime Minister speaking to you, and do you need to change your strategy? Well, I don't know if he's speaking to me directly, and if he is, uh, I, I want to thank him for his ongoing support. But, um, you know, we need more support for businesses. That's what we need. And here's a concerning number. There hasn't been a lot of discussion about what's happening with people under the age of 19. Well, cases have gone up a startling 900% since schools reopened. Let me show you this graph. It tells the story. It shows this steady increase in COVID cases under 19 years of age since mid-September. That's exactly the time students went back to school. Today, the number of cases in that age group was over 200 for the first time. Here's epidemiologist Colin Furness's take on this. Very concerning number, no question. There may be some amplification going on in schools. Again, kids are asymptomatic. The only way to know this would be to do surveillance testing in schools. But that's something, surveillance testing is something that the Ontario government has declined to do. Where are we in Ontario right now in this pandemic? Present course we're in, I've been calling, I've been, I've been saying that we, I've been calling it for about early January that our hospitals wouldn't reach the tipping point and that we would have to do a severe lockdown. We may need to get there before then if we don't intervene, if we don't make some really radical changes. We may need a circuit breaker lockdown, so to speak, which is where everything closes for a very short period of time. I would, I would actually favor that in Toronto, that if we did that for, let's say, 20 days, it would be painful, but we can all count to 20. We could get through it. Premier Ford today said he could not rule out a lockdown, and if numbers get out of control, he will not hesitate to do what he has to do.